Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Watch Us Play. I'm Eric Norris, alongside Joe Davidson. Oh. <laughs> Joe's drinking on the job. <laughs> yeah, I needed a beer to, to take this one in. I was like, look at these textures. Yeah, you made the right choice. This is this is Aliens Colonial Marines. Or is it? <laughs> it is. And it is the first, I'd say, bad game we're showing on Watch Us Play um, of the new year. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, we, we've shown some stinkers. I'm done thinking, I'm trying to think back. That made but, me think, like, man, is this really? But you're right. I think it is, because, I mean, we've showed Devil May Cry, Nino Kuni, mm -hmm. um, and then, what was the one? Uh, Dead, Dead Space, Space yeah. yeah. But our review for Aliens Colonial Marines is posted now on CraveOnline.com. You were fa con compared to the rest of the critics out there, you were favorable at a 5.5. 5. And that surprised me, <laughs> yeah. because, like, when I was kind of you know, thinking of what score to give it, along with that, that a score that fit what I was writing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I thought, man, I'm, I'm might be overly harsh with the number aspect of this. So, I felt my criticism was, was on point. If you're watching this, well, obviously you're watching this. Well, when you're watching this and you listen to our voices, pay special attention to the textures, to the animations. They're super stiff. I mean, look at Bishop's left hand right now. He's thinking He's about just... He's thinking about how... Dated this game looks. So yeah, just just this was a, a game that was developed by Gearbox and it was farmed out to another studio. It was recently revealed that, and this is a rumor, yep. Gearbox only did the multiplayer. Right. So that's, and that's new information that's kind of hit the hit the net um, yeah. as the game is coming out, which it's out now. It's problematic. Yeah, we do a little cut right there just to get to kind of more. It's walking. You don't see. Anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't miss much. But yeah, so. What's interesting is, you know, Gearbox has become synonymous with the Borderlands series. And, you know, a lot of passion has been, been yeah. pumped into that. And, you know, it's it's a critically acclaimed series that is beloved by fans. Not counting Duke Nukem Forever, their name has almost become synonymous with quality. Right. And yeah. what I actually say in my review of Aliens is this shooter falls more on the side of the spectrum with Duke Nukem Forever than... Yeah. Um, than the Borderlands. Both two so, games, air quotes, saved from development hell by Gearbox. What does that tell you? Yeah. That's, so. It's... And it's a bummer, because Joey and I both really wanted a really well-made Aliens game. We're, fan, we're fans of the Aliens franchise. I mean, this series of flicks, and I mean, I think even both Eric and I will say that we gave Alien Resurrection a decent... Viewing. Yeah. <laughs> we might we might not have liked every second of it, but we were like, There's you know... There's a lot of seconds I didn't like about Alien Resurrection, As but... fans, we're gonna watch it. That's, right, That's right. the kind of love we have for this series. And, and I think the best things I can say about Colonial Marines here is that Gearbox, whoever developed it, <laughs> really, at this point, um, uh -huh. they nailed the sound design. It's straight out of the movies. So, I've been you know, hearing so many reviews that they're like... The guns sound like crap, and every time I listen to the guns, and even in this in this gameplay video you're seeing here, yeah. they sound freaking spot on. Yeah, it sounds exactly like the the film. So yeah. I don't understand where those complaints come from. So I've like, never seen an aliens movie, but I hate the aliens movie sound <laughs> yeah, effects. Yeah. Said no one ever. So, yeah, right. Except yeah, a, a few people, I guess. Um, so they get that right. Mm -hmm. I also really like that this game takes place in the lore of Aliens, officially. So let me get this straight. The only right. thing that you like about Aliens Colonial Marines is the stuff that they took directly from Aliens stuff that they didn't make. Well, when you put it that <laughs> way... <laughs> Everything yeah. that they put their own spin on is terrible. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, good. And, and even the spin they put on the actual story um, to kind of ham-fistedly insert it into the right, Alien franchise, mm -hmm. it's a questionable decision. Yeah. Um... I remember during PR and build up to the game, and when we saw it at a few conventions, they were saying, you know, our job is to make Alien 3 look like a better oh, movie. I remember that tagline, yeah, that? and that got me hyped as yeah. shit. Same here. Um, and having finished this game, I know what they meant by that, but. They were without... dead wrong. No, no. <laughs> well, no, I think it's, it's an interesting development, and I'm not going to spoil it here for the six, seven people that want to play Colonial Marines yeah. at this point after all the reviews hit. Um,. But they don't expand on it. They okay. throw it out there, and then they're just like... Ooh. It's not even that. Oh, like, God. the characters, you know, question it. And the game, the game's dialogue and script literally writes it off like, oh, we don't have time to talk about that right now. 
and it's never addressed again. <laughs> so it's just like they they inserted it cow in there. DNA. <laughs> they inserted it in there just to be like, this is a major event that's happened in this this franchise's timeline, this but they don't take the time to the expand on it or, it. you know, go into the implications of what it could be. Yeah, which is a very missed opportunity. I know? think so. Um, Considering Alien Three is. Not counting Alien Resurrection, the bitch of the series. Which is, you know what? Right, I, this is now the bitch of the series. <laughs> it is. Wow, well, thank it you. Is. They made Alien 3 <laughs> a better movie, movie. Yes. by the sheer fact that this was so terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Mission success. Wow. They, well, Gearbox wasn't lying. I need to go <laughs> amend my review. <laughs> no, I mean, but, you know, real quick, Alien 3 is not that bad. I watched it recently. The CGI is terrible because they forced that. But outside that, I haven't. The last time I watched Alien Alien Three was okay, on TBS like in college, oh, man. <laughs> and, and, and never again. Never again. So, okay. Like I watched it because I saw it obviously as a kid growing up, and then it kind of made its way into the Alien trilogy lore for right. me. But when it popped up on TBS, I was like, "Wow, this was." Fucking god awful. Actual, come in. All right, well, <laughs> enough about Alien 3. Are they minors? <laughs> yeah. Like, what's the deal? The convicts, man. <laughs> so, right here, you're seeing also what I kind of contribute to be one of the better parts of Colonial Marines. Um, these moments where you're not just shooting down dumbass aliens they that are run straight at you, or dumb. the dumbass mercenaries that you fight, because you do fight other guys with guns. Could this um, game have been helped with less stuff? Dale AI. Like, if, if the AI had so. been better, would you be sitting here saying, yeah, this game was awesome? Maybe. I, I still think it obviously has those problems, like the texture problems, and like it, it just feels like a dated game from a presentation standpoint. Look at the Xeno... Look at the Xenomorphs, the aliens, and watch them walk and move around. It's... They're it's the odd. goofiest sons <laughs> of bitches ever. Yeah, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty terrible, and and even, you don't see it in this video, but the uh, the Wayland Yutani mercenaries that you fight throughout the game are just as dumb. They'll basically stand out there and be able to like look at a um, meat shield for you, and just like take bullets until they heal over dead. Um, so the AI is definitely a big big problem in this game. Um, it's one of one of the many really. Um, so going back to what I was saying. Going off that is the best moments probably in the game are where there's like no shooting at all. Like this sure. is a shooter, but the moments where it kind of <laughs> where the game strands you alone with nothing but your your motion tracker yeah. and maybe a pistol, and you kind of have to just like creep around a bit, are by far the highlight of the game for me. Mm. Um, they only happen maybe twice in the whole thing. So, so when you're not doing any gameplay. That's when the game's at its best. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. We are having revolution, <laughs> uh, revelations all over the place with okay. this episode. Um, but I, I just think those moments are when Gearbox, or again, whoever developed oh, yeah. the single-player portion of this, got to actually pour a lot of atmosphere into the game. So, yeah. you know, it's like the flickering lights, and it's like, you know, the the drops of water that you hear behind you if you have, like, the sound sound and you wonder if something's creeping up on you. Like Look at those... these derpy bastards hop on this desk to the left. Just, they're just... You've seen four people now, four xenomorphs, just hop on this stupid-ass yeah. desk. I almost break the game oh, right God. there and back away. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all around, like... And, and this was kind of the, the through line of the review I wrote, <laughs> is that it's just not a fun game to play. And I feel like I, I've... I've said that tw in two weeks in a row with the Dead Space 3 review. I think Dead Space 3 is a much better game than this. Yes. Um, but from an actual picking up a controller and playing this, it just wasn't fun. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I, I feel like that should be pretty much one of the you know, absolute necessities. I, I just kind of run away from I'm gonna this guy. I'm going to get you! <laughs> so... Yeah, just run right through him. There's some collision detection. There's a lot of issues yeah. with Colonial Marines. Yeah. Um, and frankly, it's just not worth the $60 price point. Now in four minutes, when it drops to $3, right. I'm going to be all over this game. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to get it, I'm going to play the shit out of it. The best thing, maybe the best thing I could say is that it's already spawned quite a few awesome memes yeah, online. with the blind like aliens. Gifts. That, yeah. yeah. Um, so... If it has any redeeming qualities, I would say... It's hilarious. It's unintentionally hilarious. Yeah. Yes. 
Aliens Colonial Marines, the best unintentional hilarious game of the year. 2013. 13. Yeah. Thus parentheses thus far. Thus far. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I <laughs> Yeah. I, feel I don't know. Bad. Do, you, do you have any other questions about I mean, I mean you, I, have, you I, haven't played you've watched it a few times. Yeah, I know, want so. I wanted to believe. Like I I'm a I'm a big aliens fan, I'm a big fan of the franchise. Derp! <laughs> Derp! Derp! I love Gearbox, and I love Aliens, and the whole idea of those two things coming together. Right. And this being the love child of it just made me just boners. Right. And I remember seeing it when we saw it at a few press um, events. Like we were, we were pumped. Yeah, we were giddy. We were, we were like little school children. And now, and now look at us. Yeah, now it's <laughs> we're slumped. It's not, it's not roses. Pumped to slumped. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Yeah. So, I I mean if if you're watching this video and you're still like, you know, that looks that looks pretty good. I'd say you're give it a rental. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I might say that first, but after that I'd say give it a rental or like red box it or sure. something like that. Um if you're a huge Aliens fan, otherwise steer clear of Aliens Colonial Marines. We're going to sign off, right? Yep. Good god. Yep.